My First Bible presents Deborah and Barak. The Israelites did what offends God again, worshipped false gods of the Canaanites. As a consequence, they fell under the oppression and domination of Jabin, a Canaanite king who reigned in Hazor. The head of the army was called Sisera. For 20 long years, they cruelly oppressed the Israelites, who cried to the Lord for help. Since Sisera, the leader of Jabin's army, had 900 iron chariots and a mighty army. At that time, a prophetess and judge of Israel ruled Israel. Her name was Deborah. Deborah had her court under the palm tree in the mountainous region of Ephraim. There, the Israelites came to her to solve their problems. Once, reports reached Deborah about the suffering of the Israelites at the hands of the bloodthirsty army of Sisera. At that moment, God used Deborah to do something about it and sent for the commander of the Israelites. It was Barak, hey. and told him, The Lord God of Israel commands you to go fight for his people. How can you be so sure about it? Barak answered. Do you want me to fight for people who always deny their own God? The God of Israel is also your God, so gather 10,000 men from the tribe of Naphtali and the tribe of Zebulun. Take them to Mount Tabor. Sisera will be there with his chariots and troops, but God will deliver him into your hands. Barak did not have the courage to follow this order by himself, because he knew that Sisera's army was very powerful and told Deborah, I will only fight if you come with me, otherwise I will not go. The Lord sends you, not me, Deborah said. But it's okay, I will go with you. Hey. However, because of the way you are going to face the battle, victory will no longer be yours. Oh. God will deliver Sisera into the hands of a woman. Oh. Okay. In this way, Deborah went to Barak, gathered the 10,000 soldiers of the Naphtali tribe and Zebulun. Sisera, upon learning of the mobilization of the Israelites, summoned his 900 chariots and all of his soldiers to the Kishon Brook. When Sisera and his soldiers looked at the Israelite army, they underestimated their strength and abilities. Are those troops the entire enemy army? Yes, sir. They are few in number and do not appear to be professional soldiers. <laughs> What an incompetent commander! Your troops have no chance against us! This war will be easy! <laughs> so, Deborah told Barak with determination, Go ahead! This is the day the Lord will deliver the army of Sisera into your hands! The Lord marches in front of you! In this way, Barak descended from Mount Tabor with the 10,000 soldiers for battle. As Barak advanced, the Lord caused Sisera's army to break up. Their chariots were smashed, and the Canaanites soon began to lose the battle. Sisera, seeing the impending defeat, jumped from his chariot. And then fled on foot from the battle. <laughs> the entire army of Sisera fell by the edge of the sword. No one was left alive. Meanwhile, Sisera had fled on foot to the tent of a woman called Jael, who was the wife of a Quenita. Oh wow! It's the general Sisera! Go on, my lord. Come in here. Do not be afraid. 
Sisera entered the tent. They are very tired, he said. I am thirsty. Could you bring me some water? She uncovered a skin of milk, gave him a drink, and covered him with a blanket to rest. Go to the entrance of the tent, he said. If someone comes and asks if anyone is here, say no. Of course, whatever you say, my lord. He, exhausted, was deeply sleeping. JL knew that this man was a dangerous enemy and that he represented a threat. So she took a stake from her tent and a hammer snuck up on him and killed him by driving a stake through his head. And Sisera died. At that moment, Beric was passing by looking for Sisera, and Jael went out to meet him. Come here, she said. I'll show you the man you're looking for. Huh? Beric went in with her, and he saw Sisera ah. lying on the floor, dead, with the stake driven through his head. Oh my god. Hey! It was hmm? then that Beric realized that what Deborah prophesied had come true. That God would deliver Sisera into the hands of a woman and that victory blah, 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 would be blah, blah, thanks blah, blah. to her. Thanks to Jael. Oh, yeah. That day, God humiliated Jabin, the Canaanite king, in the presence of the Israelites. Israel grew stronger in the fight against Jabin and his army until they completely destroyed it. Thus, the Israelites were freed from the oppression of the king of Jabin. Deborah and Beric sang a song full of praise and thanks to God for his intervention and for the liberation of Israel. A song to remember God's faithfulness and highlight the courage of leaders who fought for freedom. Na, 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 na. Subscribe, comment, like, and follow us on our social media accounts. greet our friends who have commented on our post. If you want a greeting in the next video, follow us and comment on the latest posts on our networks, Instagram and YouTube. The next greetings go to Kenny JP from Japan, Malachi Friends, Alex Davis, Made by the Mighty, Sharon Leinstein, Alex Reina, Fernando, and Flory from United States. Hello 37126. Elvin Madden from Victoria, Australia. Electro 3134 from Jamaica. Mercy, thank God. JM Lucero from Philippines. Teddy 9294. 2 750. Innocent Chick 22. Garcia Family. Key 21. Rosalie Narietta from the United States. Deborah Tude. Joanne Viesta from Philippines. Salo Ray from Philippines. Ethan KJT. Pamela Brown. Johan Full. Jake Evans from Oklahoma. Carly, Max, Zeke, and Genesis from Texas. Thank you very much for all your great support.